Okay, so for the Damon followers, here he is. And of course, he stopped walking. But he's been doing very good. He's probably going to go potty here in a minute. See if I can get him to walk some before he does, though, so that you guys can see him walking. Uh, unless I say he's going to go pee. Of course, when his IVDD was real bad, he couldn't hike his leg to go pee. And now part of the time he does and part of the time he does. And it kind of depends on how he's feeling. Um, when it's rained, which it rained here yesterday, the day before. And see, this is Thursday. Oh, actually it rained this morning. <laughs> Wednesday and Monday. So, yeah. But you can see he's getting around pretty good. Doesn't hardly have any, oops, I got him out of the picture. Doesn't hardly have any curve to his lower spine as he had whenever his IVDD was acting up. Now my shadow is on him. It's okay if his shadow is on him. <laughs> Not on him, but in the frame. But yeah, he's doing pretty good. Sister dog Izzy decided she was going to stay inside. I dozed off and she woke me up because I think she's needing to come out. Either that or she's hungry. I forgot to check the dish in my bedroom and see if it had any food in it, but sometimes whenever it's the middle of the day and I doze off or I'm sitting down watching TV for too long, she'll come and nudge me and be like, hey, get up, get moving. What are you doing just sitting around? Isn't that right, Damon? Damon, my Damon! Where are you going, Damon, my Damon? Apparently they're practicing baseball up at the schoolyard again. Damon, my Damon, what are you doing? <laughs> He's got several nicknames, this one here. Isn't that right, Pip Squirt? <laughs> yeah, see. He's doing real good. He'll, he'll run. Play with his sister. Sometimes he runs whenever he's not playing with his sister, but let go of his leash for a minute. We have a leash law, and of course, here where we live, we're supposed to keep him on a leash, but isn't he a handsome feller? He's half ass a hound and half Dotson. He used to hate having his picture taken. <laughs> yeah, I let go of his leash to try to get him to walk, but... He didn't realize that he was off of it. He likes to, he sniffs around where the squirrels have been. Um, I wasn't aware of this even when we found out that he was half basset hound, but apparently the basset hound is second only to the bloodhound when it comes to their sniffers. So he has a pretty darn good sniffer. Where you going, buddy? Hmm? He says, there's birds over there. They got to see a red-headed woodpecker earlier. <laughs> Come on, Damon. Damon, my Damon. What you doing? See, there he goes. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Demonious Harbringer, you get over here. <laughs> and see, sometimes when he walks, his lower back kind of hunches like that but whenever he had the IBDD it was even when he was standing still like he is now it would have been hunched up and you can see it's not it's pretty much completely level oh I got down on his level <laughs> I was trying to show you something Damon. <laughs> he's like oh you want to play look look hey man anyhow <laughs> you probably can't see that very well either but yeah when he stands certain ways, there's still kind of a little hunch right there. But whenever he's standing um, straight like he was a while ago, there's not a hunch. And when his IVDD was acting up, he had the big hunch right back here. So, and when his cervical disc was messed up, his fluff around his neck looked about eight times as big as it does right now. So, he's doing pretty good with his uh, preventative chiropractic visits every three weeks running about playing with Izzy a lot of people say don't let him play and um, don't let him climb he's not really been climbing occasionally when I'm not paying attention I open my car door to go to the chiropractors and he'll run and jump in the car and I'm like 
you don't need to be doing that. And a couple of times he has jumped off of the bed, so we're lucky that he hasn't caused himself to have another incident. But the only times that I really notice, um, he is still kind of wobbly on his legs sometimes. And the main time that I notice that he's wobbly on his front legs or his back legs, and it tends to happen more with his front, that's where he um, had the issue more first because of the cervical disc rupture being in his neck, I think. But, uh, yeah, he lost use of his front legs first, and I've seen a lot of information about ones that have lost it in the in their back legs first. But, um, um, yeah, the main time that I've noticed him having an issue with his paws, and it seems to really only be the paws themselves, is, see, like, he kind of fumbled there on the one on this side a little bit, is when it's been raining or when it's been cold out, so... Other than that, he's doing real good, and he is getting old. He's supposed to be approximately seven and a half years old, but we don't really know for sure because he was found after one of the big Oklahoma tornadoes that hit and was sent to an animal shelter, and after that, he was sent to a rescue that me and my girls had volunteered with and my youngest daughter found him there so that's how we ended up with him so we're not absolutely certain how old he is but I'm going to stop filming him so I can go in and get Izzy bring her out for a walk I'm pretty sure I heard her in there at the door she's like what are you doing with that boy out there for so long he loves to soak up the sun though and it's nice and sunny so he's probably loving this and he's eating some grass now, a lot of things say that if your dog is eating grass, that means that they're probably sick in some way or that it's not good for them to eat grass. I have found that a lot of times when my dogs eat grass, like they can't go poop if their colon's not all the way full. Their colon has to be full in order to push their poop out. So I have found that a lot of times when mine eat grass, it's because they haven't quite eaten the proper amount for them to be able to go poop yet. So... Look at his shadow. Doesn't he look like a huge menacing dog? Oh my gosh. If I were him, I would be terrified of my shadow. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to take him inside so I can bring out Sister Izzy. But Damon is doing well. In case, you know, for those of you who were wondering.